Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated to my latest videos. Welcome to our YouTube channel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the various settings options available for your YouTube channel. Let's get started. So first of all, log into your YouTube channel and on the dashboard in the left sidebar, click on settings. Now on this page, you will see first option, channel status and features. Click on it. Now a settings dialog box will be opened in front of you. The first tab is general tab. Here you can find the options to set your default units to currency. So I have set my default units to US dollars. Now go to channels. You will find the basic info section. Here you can specify your country of residence and add relevant keywords for your channel. So first of all, I will select my country of residence here. Now here you need to add the relevant keyword. Now I have added all relevant keywords in this box. Now click on advanced settings. We have the audience section here. You can simplify your workflow by selecting a channel setting that determines if your content is made for kids. You can choose to set your channel as made for kids, not made for kids or review the setting for every video individually. So I will click here. I want to review the setting for every video. So if I select this channel is made for kids, then I will not be able to personalize my ads. So I will recommend you to select the second option. The important option in the advanced tab is Google Ads account linking. By linking your YouTube channel to a Google Ads account, you can run ads based on interactions with your videos and access insights from your channel's videos. So we can just do this later. Now move on to the automatic captions. The automatic captions option is also available in the advanced tab. Enabling this setting prevents potentially inappropriate words from being displayed in the auto-generated captions of your videos. So I'll just check this option here. Okay, now let's talk about the advertisement section. You can manage advertisements on your channel by selecting the advertisements option. Here you can choose the disable interest based ads, which are personalized ads based on a viewer's interest. Keep in mind that disabling this may impact your channel's revenue. So I will recommend not to check this box. The clips option allows viewers to clip your content. If you choose to disable this option, viewers won't be able to create clips of your videos. So I'll just uncheck this option here. Now we have some other settings here. Manage your YouTube channel and remove YouTube content. So if you want to remove content from your YouTube channel, then you can click here. Or if you want to manage your videos on your YouTube account, then you can click this option. Now next tab is feature eligibility. In the standard features, you can upload videos, playlist creations, add collaborators to playlists, add new videos to existing playlists. To avail these features, your channel should be free of active community guideline strikes. The other feature is intermediate feature, where you can upload videos longer than 15 minutes. You can just create custom thumbnails and live streaming. The requirement for this channel is a standard features enabled. If you have enabled these standard features, then you can do all these things with your videos. Here you can also verify your phone number. To verify your channel, you will be asked to enter a phone number. We will send a verification code by text or voice call to that phone number. Now number 3 is advanced features. If you are eligible for the advanced features, then you can do content ID claims. You can create more live streams daily. You can upload videos daily. You can create shorts daily. You can embed live streams, external links in your video descriptions, and you are also eligible to apply for monetization. So to do that, your intermediate features must be enabled. You will have to do a video verification through your phone. You will have to provide a valid ID such as your passport and then you will have to provide a channel history. By default, you will get the standard features here. So if you want to get the intermediate features, first you need to verify your phone number. So I'll add my phone number here and then I will click on get code. So once you have received your code, you can enter it here and press submit. Congratulations, your phone number is now verified and you are eligible for the intermediate features now. Now close this window and you can just check your feature eligibility now here. Your intermediate features section is enabled. 
Now to enable the advanced options, you need to submit all these things, a video verification, a valid ID and a channel history. So you can just do this later. Now click on upload defaults. Here you can set default information such as the title, description, visibility and text for your uploaded videos. So if you want to add a title, a description and some text by default to your videos, then you can just add them here. So I'll just leave the title and description empty because I want to customize my titles and descriptions individually for each video. Here I can just select the visibility because I want to make all my videos public by default and I will add some titles which are relevant to my channel which I want to add to my all videos by default. So now I have added some relevant keywords here. Now you can click on advanced settings. Here you can enable automatic chapters and key moments for your videos to improve navigation. You can also specify the license, category, language and caption certifications for your videos here. So I will select a standard YouTube license from here. You can select a category of your channel. I will select entertainment. You can select a language of your channel from here. So I will select English from here. You can select any caption certification. If your content appeared on US television. Now here you have the comments section. Here you can just select whether you want to allow all comments, whether you want to hold potentially inappropriate comments for your review or you want to increase the strictness or whether you want to hold all comments for your review or you want to disable the comments. So I'll select the second option, hold potentially inappropriate comments for review. If you want to show how many viewers like this video, then you can just check this box. Otherwise, you can just uncheck it. So I will just check this box here. Now click on permissions. So if you have a brand account, you can choose to keep managing permissions in your brand account or move permissions to YouTube studio. You can assign different roles such as owner, manager, editor and viewer to members of your team. So if I click on manage permissions here, then you will get this page here where you will get all your brand account details and you can manage your user permissions from here. So to access the permissions page, you will have to log into your account again to verify and then you will click on manage permissions here. Here you can just see I am the primary owner of my account and if I want to add any other roles or users then I can just click on this button over here and if I want to add other users then I will just click on this invite new users button on the top and then I will just add the email address. I will just choose a role from here, whether he's an owner or manager, and then I will click on invite. So you can just do it later when you will just do your branding, when you will just create the advertisements or campaigns, or you want to assign different roles to different users, then you can just do this from here. Then I will just click on community. So in this section, you can just manage your moderators. You will just paste a channel URL of a user to add a managing moderator here. And what are the managing moderators? These users have the same capabilities as standard moderators, but in addition, they can manage blocked words and change chat modes in live. Then you have the standard moderators section. Who are the standard moderators? These moderators can remove comments which will appear in your held for review page and can also moderate your live chat messages. You can just paste a channel URL for a user to add as a standard moderator here. Then you have approved users. So the comments from these approved users are automatically published and won't be filtered for blocked links, blocked words or potentially inappropriate content. Now we have the hidden users. So the comments and live chat messages from these users won't show up. It may take several days to remove existing comments and live chat messages. These users will not be able to create clips of your videos and live streams. So these are four types of users here. Managing moderators, standard moderators, approved users and hidden users. And you can just add these users here, their channel URL. Now we have live redirects. 
This section allows other creators to send their viewers to any of your live streams or premieres. Your content can only be selected for a live redirect if it's upcoming or in progress. So if you want all channels to redirect to your account, then you can just select first option. Then the second option will remain disabled. Otherwise, you can just leave it as it is. The second option is disabled because my channel subscription is private. So if I want to change the privacy, I can just click here and just make it public. And then I can just select this option here. So if you want to block any sort of URLs and hashtags in your comments, you can just click on this block links. Now the other tab is defaults. So these settings you can select by default and you can also do these settings individually for each video. So by default, I have select hold potentially inappropriate comments for my review. And then here is an agreement. So this is our agreement to YouTube. Just click on learn more and then you will see these details here and if you want to find your agreement then you can just sign up to your youtube studio go to settings and click on agreement so you can just read your agreement to youtube here and then all right so finally we have done all these necessary settings here and now we will just click on save now once again go back to your settings page now click on view advanced settings here you can see your user id your channel id all right so if you want to make this channel default you can just click on this option here and you can just click on this option if you want to move your channel to another brand account just go back to your account settings page here you have the channel managers setting you can add or remove your channel managers from here as well. You will get the same permissions page from here. All right, so if you want to change your Google account settings, then you can just click on this link here. You can change the logo from here. If you want to select an image from your computer, then you can just select it from here. Or if you want to select any illustration, then you can select the illustration from here. Now click on next and save as profile picture. As you can see, your Google account picture has been updated here. You can just set these personal info as well. So if you want to change this name, you can just change it from here. Now click on save and your Google account name has been updated. So YouTube has also provided you an email address where people can contact you. If you want to add other contact informations, then you can just also add your email, your phone number, your address, your chat username here as well. So I will just add a chat username here that anyone can see and I will just save it here. So this is my chat username. Or if you want to add more about then you can just click here add more about you if you have a website you can add a link here you can add any link here of your Facebook page your any other account you can add your profile link here maybe your LinkedIn profile you can add a contributor link here or you can also add an introduction here as well so this will be all about yourself. You can just come here anytime and add the about me information here. So this is all about your about me information that you can just add anytime. So these are the minor settings or the basic settings that I have told you. So that concludes our YouTube channel tutorial on the various setting options available. We hope this tutorial has been helpful in understanding how to configure your channel settings effectively. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video.